Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to continue with the pull-off technique. Very often this technique is combined with the one that I showed you last week being the hammer-on technique. With the hammer-on technique, we hammer our finger down on the string. With the pull-off technique, we start with the finger on the string and then pull it off of the string, which the name says it itself, of course. Like I showed you in the intro, I did a combination with hammering on and then pulling back off, all right? Now, I did it on the first string and there's a reason for that because the first string is the easiest one to do clean pull-offs on, let's say, because underneath the first string, there are no other strings that we can accidentally hit, right? So we can do pull-offs on the other strings as well, but it's a lot harder because you can't hit other strings or have the sound from other strings, right? So I can, for example, take the third string and try to pull off that one like this. But there's a lot of chance there that I can hit the B string, but it's used on every string, of course. Now, what is easier with pull-offs in contrast to hammering on is getting more volume. Why is that? With hammering on, you don't plug the string another time for hammering on. Like this, for example. But if you pull off, you actually plug the string by pulling off. So you don't just release your finger from the string. You actually plug the string with the finger that is on the string. So for example, if I have my ring finger like this, on the third fret of the first string, as an example now. I'm gonna first plug the string with my plectrum and then I'm gonna pull off my finger by pulling it back. So not just releasing it, but pulling it back like this. The volume is practically the same as if I plug it with my plectrum itself. Now, if I just release my finger instead of pulling it off, then you get this almost no sound right so it's very important that we pull down when we release the string right very very important to keep that in mind so there's not too much other things to say about that technique of course you can do that like I said last week with the hammer-on technique, you can do exactly the same and use your right hand for that as well, but that's not really for beginners. So let's just start with doing this on our left hand. And you could actually practice the same intro that I showed you last week for the hammer-on technique, but start with the first string and then make our way back down to the sixth string. So like this, then go over to the second string, do the same. Then do the third. It's not easy to play clean, right? Then to the fourth string. And the higher you go, more on the upper strings there, it gets harder because your fingers have to go further with that. All right, and so we have all the strings like that. Guys, next week I'm gonna show you a combination uh, in which we can both use the hammer-on technique and the pull-off technique. And it's a very well-known song by ACDC. Thunderstruck is a very iconic one in which we can use that. I don't say the guitar player from ACDC uh, uses it this way, but you can definitely practice it like this. So definitely stay tuned for next week's video so that you can see how we can try that technique in that song. Also for you Alipers there that watch my reactions to Ali Bata, which is a guitar player. He also uses all these techniques, of course. And like I said in the last video, with fast riffs and fast solos, often they use these two techniques because it's hard to play the plectrum that fast. So they combine the hammer on and pulling off technique in combination with sometimes strumming the strings with their plectrum. Let's, or with fingerstyle, it can be possible as well, of course. Like, for example, in the one that I reacted to from Ali Bata in a certain riff of Numb, and even in uh, Black or White, there were some parts in there. I was so blown away by the speed of his left hand 
and that's a lot of those techniques being used there. So perhaps check those videos out if you want to know what I'm talking about. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. And then after the, so this can, so oh, because this first or have the up, uh, you can do exactly like I don't in combination with sometimes string and there were, and that's, and that's a lot of that technique. So perhaps check those out if you don't know.